Hi students, um, nice to see you today. Thanks for checking out this lesson. Um, an easy concept for today's lesson, but maybe something new. We are going to talk about spelling in this lesson. And 90% of the time with students in my class, I will say, don't pay any attention to spelling. Technology helps us with our spelling. The pronunciation, the written English system doesn't match. Um, so spelling just, ugh, let it go. However, there are a few small pieces of spelling that we can talk about and we can um, memorize or remember this small skill, this small step. Um, so you won't hear me talk about spelling in a lot of videos, but today, this small piece we will. What we're going to talk about today is the Y becoming I. Um, and sometimes this is connected for a noun. Sometimes this is a verb. Sometimes this is an adjective. So we're first going to talk about the verb. So remember that verb is the action word of the sentence. It's the, the play, run, eat, talk. It carries that meaning of the action. And if you have at the end of your word vowel plus Y, you will see no change in your spelling. But if you have at the end of your word um, consonant plus Y, you will see that change to I. So for example, in that third person present tense, the word play, annoy, obey, you see vowel, vowel, vowel. Remember vowel, A, E, I, O, U. In our word of reply, I reply to the letter, she replies. That L consonant, I, Y changing to I. Study, D consonant, Y change to I. Cry, cries, R consonant, Y changes to I. We see a similar thing in the past tense. She played, she annoyed, but when you have that consonant Y, changing to I, add your ED. When we are using continuous, which is the ING, you are never changing the Y to I because it would be completely crazy to put I, I, N, G in the same sentence. A few more examples here. On the left side, you see those vowel plus Y. On the right side, you see those consonant plus Y. Play, plays, no change, that vowel of A. Annoys, no change, that vowel O. The vowel E, no change with the vowel. Consonant Y, try, cry, apply, comply. Worried, copied, spied. We see that Y change to I when there is the consonant Y. So that's the verb. Remember that noun, noun is the person, place, or thing. Again, vowel plus Y, no change. Consonant plus Y, change to I. Over on the right-hand side, you have one toy, but 10 toys, no change. One journey, 10 journeys. One boy, 10 boys. Again, vowel, 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 no change. When we come down to baby, lady, activity, and there are a hundred more, right? Consonant Y changes to that I, babies, ladies, activities. Um, when we come to adjective, remember, of course, that adjective describes the noun. Again, vowel plus Y, no change. Consonant plus Y, change to I. We see this with happy, happier, happiest. The happiest girl. Ugly, uglier, 
ugliest, the ugliest shoes. Cheesy, cheesier, cheesiest, the cheesiest pizza. Creepy, creepier, creepiest, the creepiest movie. There are actually very few adjectives with vowel and Y at the end. There are about four or five. They are very uncommon words, but the same um, spelling rule would apply for the verb, the adjective, or the noun. Vowel plus Y don't change. Consonant plus Y change to I. Never change for ING. That's really it for this quick spelling lesson. Again, 90% of the time, I'm going to tell students, don't panic about spelling, don't worry about spelling. English spelling is crazy because English takes from so many languages. Um, there is not a strong connection between the written and the pronunciation where in some languages, the written, the spoken is exactly the same. Um, in English, we take from Latin, from Greek, from German, um, some pieces from Arabic, from French. We take from so many languages and then we keep their spelling or we keep their pronunciation and then it doesn't seem to match the writing and the pronunciation. Most of the time, don't worry about spelling. Y to I, that's an easy thing you can practice, you can memorize. As always, leave me some comments in um, under the video, leave some comments below. Let me know how you thought about this lesson. Make sure to like the lesson, um, subscribe to the channel so you'll get notifications when new lessons are available. Until next time, students, bye.